What's up everybody? Ryan with Andros. Today we are delivering this brand new Tarpon 26 from the factory right to the, the owner's house. But before we do that, we want to take a few minutes and walk you through it. Let's check it out. All right, first things first, the Mercury 300 V8 Verado is pushing this boat to around 50 miles an hour, depending on load. Second thing we have is the twin 10 foot power poles. This engine is mounted and as are the power poles are mounted to a porter bracket. So this is 15 inches of travel, the 21 inch setback. What that means is your engine can go up and down 15 inches in total without the angle of the prop changing. So you're able to maneuver very well in very shallow water. So in the transom, I'm gonna go ahead here and open up these three boxes and tell you what they are. First box, this is a chum box, box for your ropes, flip-flops, utility. I use it for everything. This is our standard 40 gallon live well. You can see it's, it's very big, very robust. Uh, we power these with rule tournament pumps as well. Here, this box houses your raw and freshwater washdown. Easy in excess. All in compression latches. You can see we have very heavy duty stainless, all gem lux. So this is a cool feature this customer opted for. This is our custom uh, boarding ladder and swim platform. So you have the grab rail. This is all fabbed in house. It's very thick tubing, very high quality. Uh, we have, you can see here, a latch that'll, that'll allow your ladder to come out. Very slick design. Very useful with the sandbar, snorkeling, diving. So for access, you can see this is an option. This is a mounted rear bench. Two legs come down, simple as that. Otherwise, you can option without this at all, and this can all be a combing bolster. But as far as maintenance goes, very easy. Uh, this boat is extremely easy to work on. I think you'd find that to be one of your favorite aspects of owning this. Um, you have your, your power pole, pumps, fluids, your porter bracket, uh, solenoids. Everything's very easy to get to. All the hoses are double clamped. Yet in here we have your mercury power steering pump, fuel water separator, very big access. And it gets even better as far as access goes when you get down here into the bilge area. You can see we have the live well pumps, filter. Uh, this one has one bilge pump in it. We could put multiple if you'd like on float switches. Through hole transducer. Very easy, clean access. So this boat is optioned out with the combing bolsters. Not 360, but as you can tell, most of the boat. Again, all our lids, they're on friction hinges, very heavy duty, all insulated. If you feel these things, you'll know what I'm saying. This box pushes up into the deck. This is a great box for mask, snorkel, things like that. Uh, pretty much anything, really. It does drain the bilge, so that's not your fish box. Next thing we have, we have the uh, command center leading post. This is standard for us. See here how it actually can break down if you ever need to, as far as we need to do any kind of rigging in the future. Cup holders with four rod holders, all standard. This is one of our options for the leaning post, which is the slide out cooler, Yeti 65. So there's a couple different ways we do these, but this is a popular option. You lose the tackle center and the drawers, things like that, but uh, you know, if the cooler is part of the plan, that's the best place to do it. All right, so here we have, this is our fish scale bolstery. This is all custom made in house. This customer opted for the storage bin underneath the seat. Very big dry storage with a latch. Again, colors, we can do a variety of colors. We've had grays, all sorts of anything you want. Tans, let us know what you're looking for. Here's our glove box on friction hinges. This houses your your battery switch, your ignition, and then you have storage trays. 
We have a 12 inch Garmin. You can mount two 12 inch Garmin's if you'd like. JL audio head, ICOM radio, all your switches. Easy to read, well marked. Renko trim tabs, power pole control. Through our center console area, storage. Inside you'll find, depending on the owner, sometimes we put the trolling motor batteries in here. Sometimes we put them up front. I'll show you that in a sec. But typically you're gonna have your house, your cranking battery in here, your wiring's incredibly clean, everything's labeled. Uh, there is enough room to put ahead, yes. Okay, as for seating on this boat, we have the rear bench, which does have the backrest inside this console. That's gonna fit three adults across the back. We've got three adults, we've got two at the helm. This right here is what I'm getting to. This is an extra seat. But what we do is we have the Yeti cooler that can be pulled out from underneath the slides if you'd like. You place it here and you've got another seat with a cushion. These do come with snap-on cushions as well. Just depends how you order it. But just another place for a seat. And if you don't want it, it's out of the way. And now we've got a ton of walkway for fishing. Bean bags, another popular option. You could definitely put two bean bags here side by side. So this boat was ordered with the forward seating package, full sun bed. Here you have the backrests are in. Obviously the cushions are not. Um, however, they easily pop out and in. So just to give you a reference, we answer a lot of questions on this of how much room is up here. So I'm about five foot 10. See fully stretched out, zero issues. Um, both people will fit in here great. For your, your kids, all your passengers, they're safe. They're inside the boat. If you notice, I'm, I'm encapsulated. I'm inside the boat. I'm not bouncing out the bow. Uh, this is a very safe place, very dry place to ride. Right here at the front, you have very easy access for your freshwater fill. All right, so we're gonna start with our two deck boxes here. Again, heavy, insulated, fully gasketed lids. So you have, this is all dry storage. Then down in here, you have another area. Some people have to put the trolling motor batteries. This one is completely open, so it's just more storage. Tons of storage down here in this deck. This next box is going to be your kill box. This is fully insulated again. Ginormous. Big dolphin. Anything you need to put in there, you'll fit. Uh, again, you're going to hold ice all day. Thick hatches. Fully gasketed. Lock tight with compression latches. Up here we have our anchor access. So here's our actual anchor locker, which is great. It's giant. You can fit it probably two, three anchors at a time in here if you need. Does hold 600 feet of line. This is great access for different anchors. If you're using a smaller anchor, you don't want to, you know, you kind of lay them and, and uh, segregate them. And you get access down here. Especially if you order with a windlass, it's good to have access. You need to see that. This we have the Minn Kota Tarova. This is the 84 inch, I believe. Um, you can see, yes, it is big. This boat does have a high bow. Do recommend this at a minimum. It does do a great job holding this boat in place, uh, wherever on the flats or offshore. Highly recommend it. So access to our second station is super easy. A couple steps this way, lop on up, and there you are. You have full control. Your jack plate, seven inch Garmin MFD, kill switch, trim tabs, and of course your mercury controls. Easily transfer the click of a button. You're up here, you're in full control. Also have Ron holders, there's three with me here. Two cup holders, sleigh back seat, very comfortable place to drive. Back here, we have the Garmin Radome radar. Great for a boat like this. It's not, not powerful enough, obviously, for tuna birds and things like that. But as a safety feature, if you run at night, if you run early mornings, fog, things like that, I would definitely recommend it as an add-on. For you guys that are looking at this boat to fish, that is what we do. We build fishing boats. This is very well thought out for all sorts of fishing, flats, offshore, wherever you want to go. Pay attention here how I'm walking on a giant deck 
whether you're throwing a net from up here, wide gunnels, they walk the entire boat pretty much. You're inside the boat. If it's rough, you're at an inlet or a pass, everybody can fish this boat and be inside the boat. We're not on a deck like a typical bay boat would be very safe. As we walk back here, another big difference between our boat and a lot of the boats in the market. There's a 26 foot boat. You see how much room I have behind the leaning post. I mean, this is giant, you know? So keep that in mind when you're shopping boats and you got a lot of times you're gonna have these leaning posts that come out to about here on a boat this size. It's not the case. It's almost like you're on a mini sport fisher. You know, that's, I get people to say that a lot. So that's a big aspect of why I love this boat so much.